Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Dog Father, and today we've got a really good try tip that we're gonna get reverse seared, and it's gonna be excellent. So uh, let's get it. All right, guys, hey, before we jump into this, I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure you click that bell so you get notified every time we uh, upload a video here on this channel. Now, as I said, we're gonna be doing tri-tip today. Now, we got this fantastic looking tri-tip from Midland Meat Company, and man, it's got an excellent fat cap on it. They trimmed it up nicely before they sent it to us, and the, the marbling throughout the meat is just phenomenal. It's just a fantastic looking tri-tip, and I know it's gonna be good, so let's jump into this recipe. All right, so to get this guy seasoned up today, we're gonna be using some olive oil here just to uh, add on here so we can have just a little binder. So a little thin coat of oil is gonna go on here. All right, now that we've got our binder put on here today, guys, we're gonna be using our Smiling Swine, and this is gonna be the SPG. This is gonna be our first coat that we're gonna put on here. And I'm not gonna go too heavy, but we're gonna just get a good even coat put on here. And make sure we get the sides. All right, so our next coat is gonna be again from Smiling Swine, and this one's gonna be our uh, garlic jalapeno. So we're gonna add some of that. Now, I just like this because it just gives a little, little kick, you know, but if you don't like spicy, you don't have to use it. But we're gonna get this all put on here. Again, we're not gonna go super heavy with it, but we're gonna just get a good even layer on here. Okay, next up again, Smiling Swine, and this is gonna be the uh, steak and chop, guys. So we're gonna get some of that put on here. It's a really good rub. It's gonna get some good texture, great flavor. And there we go, we're gonna pat that in. And we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing here. All right, so now that we got this seasoned up here, the only other thing I'm gonna add differently on here is I'm gonna add a little bit of coarse ground black pepper, guys, just cause you know I'm a Texas guy and I like that 16 mesh. So I'm gonna add some here onto the fat cap side and we're gonna give it a good little press in here. Now this is looking pretty good to me. All right, so now we got this tri-tip all seasoned up. And uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pop it in my fridge for a few hours, probably three or four hours, and then we're gonna get the grill lit up and get it on our grill. Now, ideally, if you can, do it overnight. Season it the night before, uh, let it soak in all those flavors overnight, and then you'll be ready to go the next day. So I'll bring you back, guys, when we're uh, heading out to the grill, all right? See you in a bit. All right, so we got our tri-tip all nicely seasoned up and now it's time for us to get it on the grill. Now today we're gonna to be using our good old Weber kettle over here and we're gonna be using it with B&B uh, &B lump charcoal as well as some B&B &B post oak wood chunks. So we're getting some uh, lump charcoal put in here. Now I had some leftover lump from a previous cook so we're just gonna add a little bit to it but we're just gonna go ahead and get it lit up now. Today we're gonna to light it up with our Sear Pro. Now the guys over at Sear Pro were nice enough to send me this unit so we're trying it out today for the first time. So we're gonna use our Sear Pro to light up this charcoal. All now once we got our charcoal lit up, we went ahead and added our post oak uh, wood chunk onto it and we got our, uh, our grill ready to go. We lined the bottom with some aluminum foil so we could catch the juices just to kind of help keep the, the uh, Weber kettle clean as we go throughout the cook. We got our rack put back on and then it's time for us to get that tri-tip on. So we got the tri-tip put on. I put the thickest part of the tri-tip towards the heat source just to kind of, you know, protect the ends and the, the smaller ends so they don't get crispy or anything like that. 
the thicker part of it can handle more of the heat, so that's what we did. Now with this cook, we're doing a reverse sear, which is why we've got it lit up here with a little bit of charcoal and a little bit of uh, post oak wood. And all we're doing at this point is we're gonna run this grill somewhere between 225 degrees and 250 degrees. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke this uh, tri-tip up to a roughly 80, 85 degrees or so, and then we're gonna flip it over. Now we're flipping it over so that we can promote a, a good even smoke throughout this cook here on this, uh, this tri-tip. Now once we get this tri-tip up into the range of 115 to 120 degrees, we're gonna pull it off and then we're gonna light up some more charcoal just so we can get a really good high heat on this grill so we can sear off the tri-tip. All right guys, so now we've got that tri-tip out there on the grill. So what we're gonna do in the meantime is we're gonna make a nice little chimichurri. Now, I don't happen to have any fresh herbs here at the house, but I've got the next best thing. So I've got these uh, chimichurris in a bottle, basically. This is from Alfragoni. Uh, I've got a spicy version, I've got the original version, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that mixed up and put together right now, so let's do it. So we're gonna put together the original uh, chimichurri today, and uh, it's very simple to do, and this is how you do it. We're gonna go one part of our chimichurri. So you don't have to measure, I never really measure it. I just kinda add it into my, uh, into my container there and uh, that's a good amount for me. To that one part of chimichurri that we've got put into our bowl here, we're gonna add our acid. And today we're gonna be using a red wine vinegar. And so that's what we've got. Now we've got one part of our chimichurri in here and so we're gonna add one part of our acid or our red wine vinegar. So now we've got a one-to-one -one mix in this bowl. We're just gonna give it a quick little mix up here. And we're just basically hydrating or rehydrating all of these uh, dehydrated herbs. And so that's what we're gonna do. We get it mixed up here and we're just gonna let this hang out for about 15 minutes or so. Get them nicely hydrated. All right, so it's been 15 minutes now. and We've got this chimichurri nicely hydrated. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our oil. Now today I'm using olive oil. You can use whatever oil you want. Remember I said we used one part, one part. Now we're gonna use two parts. So it's one part of the uh, chimichurri mix, one part of our acid or red wine vinegar, and we're gonna do two parts of oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this oil put in here and I'm just gonna kind of stream it in again. We're not measuring anything guys, we're just gonna eyeball it. And then we're gonna give this a good little mix. And just like that, guys, you've got a nice little chimichurri that we can add onto our uh, tri-tip. Now you can customize this if you'd like. If you wanna add some heat to it uh, by adding some red chili peppers, you can add some garlic, you can add whatever you want to it, but this is just a basic uh, chimichurri that we're gonna to use today, so. All right, let's get this tri-tip done so we can get into this, all right? Now once we got our charcoal lit and we got it, uh, got the grill up to a high temperature for us. We went ahead and just seared this uh, tri-tip off. And what we're looking for, guys, is I'm looking for an internal temperature somewhere around 130 degrees. Uh, 128 to 132, 133, somewhere in that range is perfectly good for me. And once we get to that temperature, we're gonna pull it off and uh, let it rest. And then I'm gonna see you back in the studio so we can go ahead and get it cut up, all right? All right, guys, so hey, we are back in the studio. We've got our tri-tip off the grill. It's got a good rest on it. We rested it for about 20 minutes or so, and now it's time to cut into this tri-tip. So you can see we got a nice little crust on the exterior there, so that rub did as well. It's got a nice little jiggle to it. Feels pretty good, feels pretty good. So we're gonna be using our Dow Strong knife today, guys. This is the Barbecue Pitmaster knife, and if you don't have a Dow Strong, make sure you check the links down below and uh, go get yourself one. Get 10% discount by going through my link. So make sure you go check that out. As well as all the products that we're gonna have in this video today, the links are gonna be down below so you can go check them out and you can get these uh, same products if you choose to do so. But let's get this try to cut up here. So we're gonna take a nice little slice here. It's cutting really nicely. So, what do you think, guys? We're looking pretty tasty on this, aren't we? We're looking pretty tasty. Look at there. We are looking pretty tasty, I gotta say that. All right, we're gonna take this, we're gonna cut a nice little piece off of here. 
All right, we got a nice looking little tri-tip there. Nice little piece of fat on there. But hold up, we can't forget the chimichurri. So let's get the chimichurri in the mix here. We're gonna get us a nice little dip in there. And uh, guys, cheers. Man, this chimichurri and this tri-tip, oh my goodness. I mean, hey, I gotta say thank you again to Midland Meat Company for sending out this tri-tip and uh, the Smiling Swine rubs with this chimichurri on this uh, tri-tip. Man, it's, it's a home run. You guys gotta go check that out. Again, the links are gonna be down below. So go check it out. If you found value in this video and you liked it, hey, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But hey, in the meantime, if you like this content, make sure you check out the other videos I've got posted up here on the uh, page here. And I'll see you in the next video. Dog Father's out. About to get into this tri-tip. Peace! <laughs>